Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So today in this video we're going to look at Radson Blazor. These are basically Blazor components that will help you to make your app look way better without having to do any crazy CSS or anything. They have a lot of components, so in here you can see like they have a component for like almost anything you will ever need. And they just uh, made it an open source MIT license, so I decided to make a video about them. So today I'm going to teach you how to get started, and we'll just create a table to finish up my uh, Wall Street Bets website. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is install the Nuit package. I already installed it. Then we have to go to Program. And in here, it's only really needed. This is for Blazor WebAssembly. The other one is in startup and you change this to services. They have everything in the getting started page. I'm just gonna go through it in, in the video. So uh, this one is only if you're gonna use any of these services, so like dialog or a tooltip or notifications or anything like that. But it's just good. To, I, I just add them at the beginning because I know eventually I'm gonna end up using them. And then after that, we have to go to imports. And in here, we're gonna add these two lines, so Ratson and, and, and Ransom Blazor, and that's so you don't have to import it into every page that you do, so it's already imported. And then in index, we have to add their CSS page and their JavaScript. So in here, we add the JavaScript, and now we add the CSS, that's the default thing. They have different options that you can see. So, and it's important, one is in the body and the other one is in the head. Then after that, we're ready to get started. So I already kind of cheated and went ahead and added it. So I'm just gonna walk you through how, how you kind of do it. So in here, you go to the template you want, or sorry, the comp in here you go to the component you want. In here, I want this one. And you just go, everything has the example, so you can see how it looks and you can see and it has auto sorting and you can actually filter and like do all that stuff. And then you have the source. So in here, I just copied the source and paste it into my site and I modified it. This one is smaller because it's a smaller table. So in here, I just like, I still want a lot of filtering. I want it to be case insensitive. I want paging and I want the page size. I'm actually gonna change this to 20 and we want to be able to sort. And then the data is going to be this list that I'm just getting from uh, the back end. It's just like an API call, kind of like the fetch data one. This one's a little more complicated because I'm joining tables and stuff. And then I just say the property. So if we actually open this and we put it side by side, we can see that and let me make this a little bit bigger we can see here that the properties match with the class so like the stock ticker and this is the title that i want to be at the top of of the table because usually the the variable name is going to be different than what you want as the title of the column so you can do that and for example for view details i'm setting up a button so you can see the details of the of that stock. And that one, obviously, I don't want it to be filterable, sortable, or anything. And I want it to be text align center. And in here, we have a bottom, bottom that it's going to call this function. And this function is, and I'm passing, in the context, I, I named the ticker. I'm passing, which is basically what the value of that row. And I'm passing the ticker that stock ticker. So I get which stock I'm sending Then I'm sending that to the page and that's it. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's just run it and see how it looks. I forgot to mention I added a loader. So now it looks fancy when it's loading instead of just having the loading. And that one is also from the same components. I just search for it. And as you can see here, I have the table and like I can sort it by this or by upvotes and then you can click view posts and it'll go to the other one and I already created a table and everything it's basically the same and that's about it thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one